wow, my golf swing has never felt so easy. And I've never felt like I've had the right flow in my swing until now. Those are just some of the comments I've had from students over the years who I've taken through this little sequence of events that I'm gonna share with you today. So we're gonna to start off by doing a little exercise. I'm gonna just hold my golf club with two fingers at the top of the handle. Here. Now because I'm holding it with two fingers, I've got no control over that club and I can't move it in any direction. But watch what happens if I move my hand in some directions. Then the golf club is going to have some movement. But it wasn't because I was intentionally moving the club head, it was because I was moving the things that sit attached to it. Now, when I do this little movement here, there's a flow, there's a rhythm, there's a really nice timing and tempo to that movement. The same thing is gonna apply in your golf swing. The more that you set up over the golf ball, the more that you think about the club head, the more that you sense that club head, the more that you focus on that club head and you start to worry about it going in different places, that's never gonna have a great rhythm, a great timing. If I hold it like this and move the club head, it's always gonna be jerky and it's never gonna have this kind of free flowing motion. So in order to do this, we have to create this sort of idea in our goal scene. Now, in order to do that, we have to use the ground. And I'm gonna do a little demonstration here, which is gonna possibly for the first time, get you to really feel what pressure and how we use that with the ground. Take a golf club, I've got an eight iron here, it doesn't matter what the club is. Take your normal stance and just hover the club a few inches above the ground. And I want you to feel like your arms get kind of locked into your side. And you're gonna feel like the position you've got here is very structured, you know, hold that position but you're gonna to start to rotate your chest away and towards the target. And you'll notice that I'm only moving that club maybe a foot and a half either side, but it's just through rotation of my chest. Now, because I'm doing this at very slow speed, I don't really feel anything is happening other than my chest is moving that golf club. But what I want you to try and do is keep the length of this movement the same, but I want you to try and put as much speed in this as you can. So as I start to do that more aggressively, you'll see that I start to increase the speed. And when I increase the speed, the change in direction from this side to this side becomes a little bit more forceful. What suddenly happens is I feel like my feet are doing something. Not intentionally, but because there's more speed and more force, I'm feeling like I have to use the ground and I have to push down in order to make that club move in that way. It's one of the best little exercises I've found to really give someone that almost that eureka moment of, oh, that's how I use the ground to get the golf club to move. Like I say, at slow speed, we don't need that. So start slow, build up, and then you'll start to really feel how your feet push and push and push and push on the ground, which controls that movement. That is what we need to tap into in the golfing. So here's our first little exercise. We're going to start and we're going to start with our feet together and we're going to put the golf club around about a foot in front of the golf ball. And to start our backswing, we're very simply going to make a step. And what that's going to do is it's going to get you to feel the pressure going into this trail side early. Remember what we did at the start, we did this little demonstration where we felt we had no control of the club head. We're going to add that in here. As we do this little move, this stepping move into the backswing, I want you to do what I call the floating takeaway. So what is the floating takeaway? Well, it's when we start here, and as I step, I want my hands to move, but notice how the club head stays in its place. And the reason it's happening is because I've got such little grip pressure that as my hands move, there's a little bit of a delay in what the club is doing. Very similar to this little move here. So, feet together, club starts here, we step, the club floats behind our movement. And you'll notice how suddenly I've got great things happening. I've got pressure shifting. I've got the club head lagging behind and flowing. And then what we do is we step through into our follow through position. We've got everything that a goal sing should have. We've got pressure shifting between the feet which we know is what controls the club head or what should control the club head. We've got the golf club flowing behind us, so we've got great rhythm. Our sequencing is great because our body is leading this motion. Like I said, the worst thing you can do is set up over the golf ball and snatch the club away and be worried about what the club head is doing and then kind of the body's a bit of an afterthought. Great goal things come from the ground, through the body, out into the golf club. So 
Try this little exercise. This is a great way for you to sense and feel it as well. Take a towel or something similar. It's a little bit windy today, but we'll, we'll try it. And if I'm that golfer who's not really engaged in the body, doesn't use the ground, and doesn't get the club to flow behind me, if I try and make a backswing, I can't get that towel to go up into the air, really, because I'm snatching it away. It's not really working. Watch what happens if we do our little sequence of events. If we use the pressure and we step and we push down in the ground and we use that pressure to rotate, the towel is being lagged behind and suddenly what we get, a very different movement. Notice how the towel lands on my shoulder. Not as good that one. That's exactly what we want. The golf club is finishing, or in this case, the towel is finishing after the body. It's not getting there first and then the body's trying to sort of catch up. So this little exercise of step, towel, step and through is brilliant. Step, towel, step, through. I can really start to feel how my golf swing, or the swing hasn't got a club there, has got all those things that we want, the rhythm, the timing. So how would you do that with a golf ball? Well, we take a setup, we bring our feet really close, we start with a club here, and we very simply do those things that we did. This ball is not gonna go very far, but we should see all those things present. And although it didn't go very far, dead straight, nearly in the water, but that's only because of the distance I hit it. So there's some really key things there happening. I'm shifting pressure. Great golfers shift pressure. I'm understanding that the body is what's initiating the golf swing. So my sequencing is great. Great golfers have great sequencing. And we have the golf club lagging behind our body movement. The great golfers have the club lagging behind the body movement. All these things you can achieve just by going through this little sequence at the driving range. I keep saying this, but the last thing we want is this over the golf ball, snatch the club away, worry about getting the club up to the top of the backswing. That's not how to do it. So, out of golf balls, let's grab another one from here. That's the exercise, that's the drill. There's a few elements to it, and I'd advise you go through those steps because going in that order really helps you, for me, get a better understanding of what's actually happening. And then, with any luck, you can go ahead and hit a shot. Now, this is a little tricky flag to get to, a little wind off the left, so I'm certainly going to aim left of that flag, and if the wind pushes it, then great. I'm really going to feel like I start my goal thing by shifting that pressure into that trail side. And I've been a little bit more aggressive than I wanted to, but it should be on the green and I'm putting. Follow that, your golf swing will feel easy, it will have great flow and it will have great tempo as well.